and, and history was made Saturday when SpaceX launched the, the Dragon capsule, which has now been named Endeavor, into orbit. And then, of course, the two astronauts aboard were able to dock the next day with the International Space Station history because it's the first time a private company has launched astronauts into space. Julie Hyman, you know, space geeks like me were thrilled, but they're real, you know, investors might want to take note of this as well. Yes, and I think investors have already been taking note. We've spoken to private investors, right, who invest in space-related businesses, and they see a big boom coming in the approaching years already. You know, SpaceX, what's interesting about SpaceX and these other privately held um, space-centered businesses is they're already viable businesses, right? SpaceX and some of its competitors send um, satellites into orbit, for example. And one of the things that is so interesting about the business model for SpaceX is the reusability of uh, the rocket parts, right? The thruster that sent this capsule into space then returned, landed right on the bullseye. I don't know if you were watching, Adam, I'm sure you were, right on the bullseye on the drone ship and then can be retrofitted and reused, which is obviously a lot more cost effective than dropping the thing into the ocean and not being able to use it again. Brian Chung, were you watching? Did you get a chance to see this? I was watching, yeah. I mean, honestly, it was uh, the one bright spot in a pretty crazy weekend of news. But um, yeah, I mean, to Julie's point, this was definitely a, a, a interesting case study, if you will, about the viability of using some of these uh, private contractors really to do these missions, right? I mean, for the longest time, it was only NASA using government money that would be able to do these types of things. But here you have uh, the likes of SpaceX. And I also want to note that Boeing as well, uh, kind of entering the race here as well with their own capsule, not necessarily the rocket itself. We need to delineate that you know, it's SpaceX's Falcon 9, that was the rocket, but Boeing's actually working on its own capsule, you know, the kind of the head of the rocket that can actually hold and encase the astronauts themselves uh, that could be entering the race for future space missions. So it's not necessarily just a one pony race. We do know Blue Origin as well. That's Jeff Bezos's venture is working on its own type of uh, technology as well. Although the type of technology and rockets that it's using are, are more suborbital, so not necessarily for launching people to the ISS, but still there's a number of other players that are in this as well. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day wherever you are.